missing a few key pieces here as Majette kicks it up top. Grab it, we'll try a three, and he nails it. So here's Josh Majette, the former Bayhawk. He was here a couple of years ago when he lost in the conference final game. Grab it, will try a three left side, and he hits again. Advantage against Koenig. But now it's Majette driving baseline, kicks it out to Frazier, straight on three, got it. Shut off on the baseline, falling out of bounds, he threw it away, and here comes Majette out of the pack. Rousey, quick three-pointer, and he knocks it down. 24-6 to six as we cross the three-minute mark, and Majette buries a three. And a little crafty banker on the move, and he got it. Point eight, and they're two of 15 from beyond the arc. Majette from the foul line hits from 15. Look no good, but he gets his own rebound. Majette up top, he'll take an open three-pointer, and he hits it. Josh Gray, 28-point lead. There's a turnaround from the foul line, he hits it. Nice feed down low, Majette to Gravett. And pointers, it seems like almost all of them, he was such a great shooter at Wisconsin, but he does seem to be short on most of his attempts. And then they head right back home for a four-game homestand, Raptors. Of course, the Raptors, 905 back then, were coached by Jerry Stackhouse. As Kaiser gets loose down low and lays it in. As, whoa, Armwood from Majette. On, obviously, he wants to be in the NBA. He was given a 10-day contract in January by the parent Magic as he, that he was waived by the Magic and sent back to Lakeland. Here he is now running the break in a three-on-one to Frazier, and Frazier jams at home, and that right there. Here he is now at the top of the key. Down low, there's another assist. as Armwood late on they have the ball. Well, maybe not. Majette with a three, and he caught it. Investments. Down low. Oh, uh, as far as what Erie did in the first half compared to the second. Of course, 32 and 59. is. <laughs>